our lesson today is called Why Stories Work. And the simple answer is because Jesus is the one who created us and he created our brains that they are wired for story. You'll often see when Jesus was on this earth that he told stories, he told parables. When he wanted to explain something to someone, he might say, well, listen, let me tell you a story about a, about a lost sheep. And if you didn't get that, he may say, well, let me just tell you about this story about a lost coin. And for you to really understand it, he said, let me tell you a story about a lost person, a lost boy. Hey, the kingdom of God is, is like this. He constantly told stories because he knew that people's brains were wired because he created them for story. Now, the human brain, and I may have mentioned to you this before, has a number of different parts, to it, but there are two key parts in relation to this. First is what we call the neocortex, and that's where language, logic, and reason functions abide. And then there's the limbic portion of the brain. And in the limbic portion of the brain, you have feelings, trust, imagination, and love, these different emotions that reside there. Now, when a story is told, you're going to see different parts of the brain fire up. Let me share with you a couple of things from an article right here. It says, when the brain hears or sees a story, its neurons fire in the same patterns as the speaker's brain. So if a speaker is telling a story and there's certain neurons that are firing off, you, the listener, as he listened to that story, those same neurons are firing off and it's called neurocoupling. M mirror neurons create coherence between a speaker's brain and the brains of his or her audience members. They're synchronizing back and forth. They say the human brain has a tendency to lose focus, and I can tell you that. Uh, some people might think I'm a little ADD. It's estimated that we engage in 2,000 daydreams a day and spend half our waking time wondering. It's no secret that when a story is told to communicate information, it works so well. Research says that when a person hears the story, that meandering or wandering in their mind basically almost goes down to zero. When you hear a good story, the brain is so wired that it engages in empathy. You hear something, you are moved to tears. And when a good story is told, it touches the deep emotions of the heart. Stories light up more of the brain than factual reporting. When the brain is presented with factual information, only two of its regions, regions activate. But studies show that storytelling causes many additional areas to light up. The re brain responds to these story events as if they were actually happening to the listener. You can learn things better if it's told in a story. Given a series of facts, you may try to remember those things. You put those facts in the context of a story, you'll remember it better. Uh, story affects behavior. Listen to this. I thought was interesting in this article. Uh, Dr. Paul Zock, who's a pioneer neuroeconomist, has shown that people are far more likely to donate to a cause after viewing an impactful, emotionally engaging story. In a recent social experiment, Testers were able to sell $129 worth of trinkets on eBay for over $8,000 by crafting personal stories for each object. So storytelling, stories are powerful. And the reason that they're powerful is because God, the creator of the universe, created our brains to engage in story. So we are hardwired for stories. Jesus knew that. And that's how we communicate every day with one another. That's how we're entertained. And now as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are commanded to take this story, this story filled with redemption, filled with wonder, filled with goodness, filled with hope, filled with expectation. And we're called to tell this story to the world.